Now I know a lot of you guys have seen that uh, video in that new hit song by Jason Aldean, Try That in a Small Town. It's getting a lot, a lot of feedback. And it's crazy because most of the white people are upset at the song and the black people are switched. They're saying like, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm going to break this down for you right now. Check this out. Now, you do hear it's a country song. Uh, down south, you know all that, right? There's certain words that the white people were getting mad at. And good old boys, we good old boys, you know, everyone pretty much knows what that means. That was one of the, the catchphrases in the Dukes of Hazard. Boss Hall, one of them good old boys. You one of them good old boys, huh? That's how they talk to black people. Some white people do not want to hear that at all. Just like there are some black people that they don't want to hear even black people saying the word nigga. So it's just the way it is. Okay. Use good old boys. Okay. Now everybody knows that in a small town in the South, pretty much majority of them are going to have, that's where the clan hides. That's where all the supremacists are going to be at, yeah, right? In the small towns. So the white people got mad because they know that's what happens, okay? Uh, they showed the storming of the Capitol building and all that. I get all of that. He said, try that in a, in, in a small town. Now, in a lot of these places, there's black people that live in these small towns also, okay? And they have been fishing and hunting on the same land with a lot of these white people. And the small town. They may not mix and everything like that, but, you know, buying goods, um, fishing and hunting and things like that, that is all the way good. If you go try that stuff in one of them small towns that are connected like that, the black people and the white people there, the country ones, are going to want to do something back to you. They got guns. They are not afraid to use them and all that. Now, it's just like being in a city here. People say, well, why don't you guys come to Detroit? Come to L.A.? come to uh new york and do that while well, you guys gotta it's the exact same thing as far as that okay as far as that now there's a lot of places where it's just blacks in the small town and because they have some land i have family that have land and um in, in other states in um in the south and they have their land and there's certain things you're just not going to go there and do and they're not going to let you but majority of the white people are mad because you historically, okay, put together with a small town, you put the KKK, okay, you put white supremacy, you put all these things, you put lynching and all those things. Now, the language that they use down there, that's how they've been using it for a long time. Some people got to get over that, you know, you got to get over it. It's just like how they put the gangs in the cities and some of these dudes talk like Crip Mac. It's, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, you know, the black folks in the country, they're speaking the exact same way, just not using some of those words. The N-word comes out the white people's mouths. Um, nigga comes out the black people's mouth. It's just the way it is. But I don't feel there's nothing wrong with the song because he's saying, come and try that in a small town. He didn't say come try it in a small racist town. But the perception that goes on in white America, in these small towns in the South, is that it's racist. That's why most of the white people were mad, but the black people understood. And most of them aren't tripping like that. That's my reaction. And check out the song. It's got a nice beat.